Yes, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. The studio's busy at the moment, setting up for another uh, new series upstairs. So I'm back at my desk. Look at this, a mug of tea. Maybe a bit of toast later from Whiplash. Right, here we... Oh, that's not a real name, by the way. She just likes that name. Right, last night, did anyone watch me on GB News? I've never met such a gobshite woman as I met last... Well, I didn't meet her. She was in the studio with Dan Wooten, I think, but she was put in the middle of a Zoom between me and Edwina Curry. Do you remember Edwina Curry? John, um, mm -hmm. yes, leave it. Okay, anyway, this woman was called Mrs. Smurfwaite. <laughs> Kate Smurfwaite. Yeah, and she's a self-proclaimed feminist activist. One of them horrible, lefty, awful people just moans, angry. Have a look, have a look at the GB News website. You've never seen such a gobby woman. Wouldn't let anyone get a word in. I don't know what, maybe one of the patches had fell off or she'd had a couple or something or other, or she was just one of them angry, angry fucking lefty women i mean it's unbelievable so let's go back to what it was all about they wanted to ask me if it was right that margaret thatcher's statue could not be in parliament square well it should be in parliament square um uh, they were worried about it being defaced well you can't stop pigeons uh, but winston churchill's in trafalgar square nelson mandela is in trafalgar square we're, we're, they're all friends now and don't forget nelson mandela triumphed after being locked up in 1962 for conspiracy to overrun the state and of course whatever happens he came out and, and became a hero uh, to everybody to show that you could go. now margaret thatcher uh, be it or what or whatever was the first female prime minister so i think that's worthy of a place there oh no but the leftist hater she took on the union she closed the mind she did this she did that and then this gobshite went on to say uh, all the statues in London are of old men on horses or military people. Yeah, why are there no women and people for human rights? Well, you know, you've got to look back in history. There's very few women that did anything, really. If you look back, if you have a, if you look, look back, all the inventors, all the people, all the great generals, women weren't in the army then. This is when Britain's soldiers fought to protect their women. You know, it's all gone a little bit wokey now. And this woman said that Margaret Thatcher's statue should be at the bottom of the Thames. And I said to her, as long as you swim down there with it, you know, and, and hold it down uh, for as long as you can. And she went for the, the real simple things. about. She, she said, here, well, Margaret Thatcher did this. And she was responsible for Article 28. She might have been Prime Minister of Article 28. Article 28 was to stop councils promoting homosexuality. Well, you know, that was 30 years ago. Things are different now. We've moved on, thank heavens for that. You know, years ago, I remember in the 50s and the 60s, when it was illegal to be a homosexual. And that all changed. And now the Liberal Democrats have made it compulsory. Uh, but there you go. She's on about human rights. And, on, and I said, look, I just did a show on Ustream uh, about the Falklands War when we had the heroes, some of the stars of that war being interviewed by another veteran. I said all of those people that fought in that war should have had a statue. Oh, is that what you want? Uh, so we have statues now for people that kill other people. What an absolutely disgraceful thing to say, Mrs. Gobshite Smurfway, on the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War. Now, whether you like Margaret Thatcher or not, viewers, or whether you don't, she was the first female prime minister, and her place needs to be alongside Parliament Square, where she became the prime minister. OK, she made it possible for women to do lots and lots of things. Apart from that gobby, frigging Kate Smurfway, I think you're the most awful gobby woman I've ever met. You probably think I'm the most awful man you've ever met. Well, I hope you don't meet me because I'll have a few things to say about that. The world has changed. Just look at Doctor Who's new uh, assistant. So, OK, folks, I'm going to go off and speak to my Ustream members in a minute. We all tend to think alike on Ustream, apart from one or two. Um, and so if you want to join up, join Ustream.com. You can get a seven day free trial. And if you sign up for a year, which is about 47 quid, you get 47 quids worth of goodies sent to you by us. So basically you get there free. Get your monthly seven day trial or get a, basically a free year of watching us. Do it now and we'll talk some more about this woman where I have no fear of being censored or taken down because I own it. I don't like going to the doctors in case they tell you you're ill. I had a woman doctor once who examined me. I had to go for that yearly check and she's feeling my fucking nuts. My bollocks, right, with, like this. 
And, and she went, oh, said, what? She said, well, Mr. Davidson, you've got to stop masturbating. I said, why? She said, because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> right? Two poached eggs. She's gone like this. We ain't got them. I said, well, well, you've got eggs. Yeah, but they're chicken's eggs. <laughs> You're a nurse. Really? What the fuck are you doing here? Shouldn't you be curing people? I was fucking clapping you a couple of Thursdays ago. You'll be going to a party in fucking Downing Street next. How dare you? You should fucking resign. How dare you come out and have a fucking laugh? He went, Jim. What? He said, oh. He said, I'm a friend of another friend of mine who actually co-wrote a book with me. He said, I want to give you this. It's my This Is Your Life book. Right? And he said, Tim's had this book for ages and wanted to get it back to you, but never knew where you'd be. Every time he tried to find you, you'd moved and had a new wife. <laughs> People don't know people. Remember when Liberace died, they sold his piano for $3 million. Couldn't give the fucking stool away. But... <laughs> what the, where the fuck do these things come from? I'm going a bit mad.